Hello Dear Heads Garage Production. In this, in this video, we're going to be doing something that I've always wanted to do to this XJ from the man that I bought it. Stay tuned. consider uh, hillbilly hood vents these are actually HVAC floor vents that you can buy from like Lowe's Hardware Home Depot really any home improvement store really and I mean I just shaved the corners down and I painted it uh, the high heat uh, I think it's matte black to a kind of match the theme of the um, Project Overland build and then just white on the outside stuff like that but what we're going to be doing yeah, let me grab the camera real quick. I hope this that angle didn't chop my head off. I guess I'll find out when I go to edit the video. But as you can see, I've already kind of made my templates so that I can cut them out of the hood. I know I'm going to be cutting into the hood, but I mean, it's a Jeep. What, I mean, really. <laughs> I can go to the junkyard and get another one for, what, 50 bucks? But, um, yeah, let's uh, get started. to the angle grinder will um, fit or not fit it'll it'll be enough reach to where I don't have to do any kind of like I don't really want to use a sawzall because that'll just the movement of that thing is just so janky that it'll just bend up anything if it's not strong enough but uh, yeah enough reach that's what I was looking for so um, yep Alright guys, so I have the extension cord hooked up to my angle grinder right there, and um, I ended up having to uh, recruit my dad's um, extension cord as well, because mine would only reach out, you know, yay far. So uh, yeah, I had to uh, borrow his for a second, so uh, yeah, it's all hooked up, and I am not going to film myself cutting two big ass holes in my hood, because, well, frankly, who wants to watch that? So uh, yeah. Let's get to it. And one, two, three. And after about an hour or so later of very careful, precise grinding, we now have two pretty good uh, holes in our hood. So, uh, yeah, I had to watch out for a few um, things, but uh, all went well. I just had to you know, take it nice and steady. And so now we're going to uh, go and actually let's see placement it might have to do a little bit of trimming but that don't look too bad all right guys so I've got one fully in and I'm of course going to uh, go around and paint over these rivets and everything again to make everything look good but uh, yeah I am digging the heck out of this 
And um, about through with that one, I got a few more rivets that I got to put in there. I'm doing pop rivets. But uh, yeah, let me get that done and uh, we will check it out. Alright guys, so it is later, actually after supper. And um, this is now done. <coughs> Excuse me. Is it perfect? No. Is it functional? Absolutely. Um, but uh, yeah. That's going to pretty much do it. And um, for those of y'all in the comments, I know it's going to be saying, you know, you destroyed it now. You're going to have to get a new hood, whatever this, whatever that. <clears throat> I know where you're coming from, but honestly, this is, I mean, there's thousands of videos all over the internet of people doing this to the rickshaws and a simple thing the reason why people do this is yes they put the famous four liter in this jeep in these jeeps back in the 90s these jeeps were originally meant for i think it was the 2.8 liter that's in it it was a smaller motor um Comment down below if I'm wrong. Please correct me if I am. But um, the cooling systems, when they slapped the 4 liter in this thing, the cooling systems sucked. And it had a whole lot of heat buildup, which causes heat, you know, not, you know, not only heat buildup, but causes, like, when you're, like, stop and go traffic, especially on the trails, it allows the uh, engine to overheat. Because of that big motor in there, there's not enough space for all that heat to, you know, go away. So it just builds up in this small engine compartment. It, it has nowhere to go. So that's why you see all of these aftermarket um, companies, the, um, all, the, the aftermarket brands, you know, coming out with these, you know, hood vents and stuff. I mean... Honestly, I've seen, you know, whole entire hood kits that go a whole, all the way across the hood that just have stuff cut out in them. I mean, you got to get rid of that heat somehow. But, uh, yeah, I will update y'all if I have to change anything. Hopefully I won't. Hopefully it'll be functional. And I know, I mean, water's going to get in there anyway. I'm not worried about that. Um, I mean, water gets in through the grill and up underneath there anyway. I mean, everything. I mean, if it can stay in high heat, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. I'll update y'all if I need to do anything to it. We're going to see. But, uh, yeah. That's going to be it for us. And, um, yeah. If you like this video, please give a big thumbs up. And if you like, and if you're stopping there for the first time, please consider, I can't talk tonight. Please consider subscribing, and I will see y'all in the next one. Please forgive me for dropping the camera unintentionally. <laughs>